Hey, what's going on? It's Edwin with another video, and this one is gonna be the statues on PO that are coming in 2022 to the collection. And there's a big variety of statues here from licensed companies all the way to some customs. So let's get started, starting with XM Studios. And then the first piece from XM Studios is gonna be Soundway, the 110 scale part of the XM Studios line. I have a few of those uh, that I really love. Check out my video on my room tour so you can see which ones I have. But he's coming in, Soundwave. I think they did an amazing job as far as sculpture and just the look and feel of this statue overall. The color scheme is just really nice and it pops completely. Seeing reviews and photos, I think it's gonna look amazing. Yes, there's the fact of him being a little bit smaller in scale compared to the others. And I agree, I think he looks thinner. He should be a little bit more massive. Uh, so he goes right along with the others but i think it's gonna be uh still a very good piece to have um, in the collection um i think it's one of the very few sound waves up there uh and in my mind it's just gonna look really nice so uh, this is gonna be the really right now so far the only xm St studios piece coming in early next year moving on to uh, prime one studios prime one studios and this is the actual lord of the rings one quarter scale sauron we're looking at the, he, this guy is coming in it's going to be my first piece from this whole line and really is the wife the wifey that really loves this uh, lord of the rings line and uh, we're looking to probably get a couple of pieces so this is going to be the first one it's very impressive he has an awesome look and feel when you see this in person seeing videos and reviews also i think it's going to be a great uh, part of the collection uh, and obviously it's a must to get the ex uh with the ring there uh, it's gonna have a lot of presents gonna look amazing just a beautiful statue that's gonna be part of the collection early 2022 so looking forward to that the next piece is gonna come in into the collection from the same line the lord of the rings from prime one studios we're looking at is aragon what a awesome really cool looking statue overall the colors on this thing are amazing especially that base with the three kings there aragon with that really cool sword along with the kings as well i think it's going to be very impressive to have this in the collection right along with sauron i think both are going to look really cool obviously there's more pieces in the lord of the rings connection that look really impressive as well frodo that look really cool that have been also named some of those are also might be appearing in the collection down the line but these two are the main ones specifically aragon because i think they did an amazing job on just the look and feel completely of uh, the statue overall they were obviously will always go for a deluxe or ex version and with this one you get three portraits two look good one is the best one the one that he's actually uh, has like that menacing look to him i think that's going to be the one that we're going to be displaying and of course the highlight on this statue is going to be this base i think this base says so much to uh, from the movies and just so much about the character and these kings just look amazing at the way they came out and hopefully it will be delivered this way i think it's going to look really cool with that um see-through resin hopefully and if you put the, the right light it's just going to pop really good so i'm happy to have this statue it's very different from what i have but it's gonna definitely gonna be a highlight when it arrives once it arrives in 2022. keep on going with prime one studios my favorite joker of all time i don't think there's any other joker i don't think there's any other batman to me any other batman to me uh and it's obviously the dark knight head leather joker and i'm finally going to be getting a quarter scale statue from uh prime one studios here and this is a really nice statue because it has a really uh, cool base that talks a lot about the movie, a lot about the character. It has a lot of Easter eggs there that are a bonus really when you get this um, statue. There's, there's been a lot of work that has been done to the actual outfit that he's wearing, that jacket. So it looks really good. I think overall I'm going to love this uh, statue, I'm sure. Uh, and obviously uh, the portrait, there's been a little bit about that back and forth that it doesn't look as good, but now that, that we got some really good pictures. I think it does look great. Uh, and I'm gonna be happy to have this in the collection. Looking forward to him being displayed. Um, obviously I'm gonna be looking for a Batman also. Um, I don't have one from that same movie, Bale Batman. So hopefully I'll be able to find one that goes along really good with this Joker. Looking at some of the things that you're going to be getting with this, there's so much stuff going on there. The swappable hands, the knife, 
um, there's just a, a whole lot that you can display this guy with all these pieces on the base or around it so um, I'm happy that it's gonna come in like I said my favorite uh, Joker and my favorite DC character of all time as you know I got I pretty much got rid of all of my DC pieces I only have two remaining and I'm gonna be focusing just on Joker and the Dark Knight uh, line uh, most likely so that is Joker from Prime One Studios coming in 2022 Let's talk about my only statue from Sideshow that's coming in 2022. And I really had a, a long time of thinking about this statue, whether I was going to get it or not. And it's the quarter scale statue Storm. She looks beautiful. I like the way they did that. Actually, they, they got the likeness of this character really well. And uh, I really like the fact that that portrait looks great. Also, obviously, the fact that it's not a sculpture's cape is always an issue. But I think it's going to be okay. That's something that I can be okay with that now that I'm going to be having a storm in the collection. Always wanted to get the XM Studios one, but obviously that one is going for crazy money. Uh, it's really the perfect uh, storm out there. Uh, is XM I wasn't collecting at that time. But I'm be happy with this one. Quarter scale. The only thing that I would have liked uh, about this statue was the fact that they should have the switch out and EX uh, ex exclusive version where you can actually have additional... Um, parts to change and display her different ways and of course the cape if it would have been uh, actually sculpture would have been amazing but going off what i'm looking at here i mean obviously uh, the actual body and the outfit looks really good looks like the actual paint is really really nicely done with a lot of sh a little bit of sheen and different shades there that give you that look as if you know it's, it's actually an actual outfit there so a good job on xm's uh, good job on sideshow there on uh, what they're trying to accomplish uh, with this character. The only thing that I hope is that this statue doesn't have that 3,000, 5,000, 7,500 edition size that we've been seeing lately from uh, Sideshow there. And that would be just crazy. I mean, obviously uh, it would be a deal breaker for me if it goes above 2,500 or less, a little bit less than that. I don't really want to get into pieces that eventually I'm gonna, I'll be able to get this for less. You know, people there uh, do a lot of upgrades and they want to at least get what they put into it but a lot of times they have to take a, a big cut because they're just so many pieces and they're not sold out so that's a big issue and it's not about making money but it's about being able to have a piece that is going to hold this value and eventually you can move on and actually upgrade right if that happens with Taisho, i'm gonna have to let go of this po but uh so far i mean it looks good it's a great option and all right we're gonna get into the custom statue territory and honestly it's been one of those things that I've been looking into a lot, I only have maybe about two custom statues and for the most part I've been pretty happy but uh, comparing it to the statues from companies that have licenses, I mean honestly sometimes there's a big difference just because they have to get approvals and things like that, you know, uh, it's they have to stay within a certain frame um, that they, sometimes they can't get off so custom statues have a lot more liberty with that and we're looking at an awesome beautiful piece is coming to the collection uh 2022 and and is the x-men's mystique one character that i've been missing uh for a long time and finally i was able to find one that i really liked i mean there's, there was an option of the xm studio one that is, looks really nice i really loved it but i missed out on that one uh, but this one looks amazing it's very different and uh, i know it's from a comic uh it's, it's very different in the fact that it has a really cool looking base obviously with all those soldiers that are dead that she just killed uh there's a lot to um the statue and you know what story is telling and i think that's really cool about uh the different groups that are customs like they have more liberty as i said to be able to create things that are a little bit more uh, dynamic and also have a lot more story to them um, and you know those those type of things are, are great um, when you see these type of statues that are very different compared to the regular stuff that we get but i'm happy that she's going to be part of the collection she's a quarter scale statue uh, custom and if you don't know what a custom is basically it's a commission that is made by a specific group and usually is between 50 75 and tops 100 pieces and they usually sell out within sometimes minutes or you know a week uh, where all the pieces are already gone just because there's not that many to go around and that's one thing that i'm uh, i like a lot about the custom statues just because it makes them more collectible obviously that there's not as many pieces and in uh, just like this 
I'll be happy to have this uh, with all the other X-Men that I have. And uh, as you see, it, it comes with uh, three other portraits besides the one that she has on at the moment. Uh, so there's just different ways that you're going to be able to display this. So I think uh, the artist and the commissioner for this uh, group did a great job of getting Mystique to this level. She's just very different. And there's a few uh, customs out there that you can get as far as Mystique. Uh, but this one for me was uh, the right choice and I'm glad she's going to be coming into the collection. Moving on to an awesome custom that I'm really hyped about coming in 2022. And there's finally be some movement on this piece because they've been trying to get some type of water or something inside so it looks like he's actually underwater. And we're talking about Weapon X from X-Men, of course. What an iconic uh, character, what an iconic uh, comic also. Uh, and you can see how awesome this is going to be. It's going to be humongous, it's going to be really tall and I'm sure very heavy. But the details on this thing is just to another level. Uh, also a custom piece, obviously completely sold out a long time ago. But it's going to look amazing. I'm happy that this is going to come to the collection, to my X-Men collection. I already have a uh, Weapon X uh, from XM Studios. Given that this is coming in, I'm not sure if that one's going to stay, so we will see. Uh, but you can see all the amazing details that this is going to have. I think it's just going to be, uh, like many say, a grail coming into the collection uh it's uh, also i believe there's also about 50 pieces or something along those lines not a lot uh, as always with a custom so that is um weapon x wolverine there uh, so you can see inside of that container as if he was about to come out of there really cool details it's gonna look great i can't wait to see the actual painted piece which is coming soon i heard can't really say much of where what group or where is they it, can't really say much about what group or where this is made but i can say that they've been doing a great job overall and this is going to be actually my first piece from them and i'm looking forward to this one hopefully it'll make it here sometime in the middle or earlier than in 2022 and looking forward to other pieces from that group actually beautiful statue awesome idea and i don't think no other uh, statue has been done this way so it's going to be a first and an iconic piece for sure Moving on to another custom from a group that I was being able to get into and I gotta say this is their first piece and very very impressive as you can see the colors on this thing just pop like crazy I think uh, details are there uh, all over the place on her shield, on the sword, on her outfit there on top and also uh, the shirt, the skirt that she has there, really cool looking. I think it's great. Her name is Gerudo. She's from the Zelda uh, video game and she appeared in the Breath of the Wild and others. So uh, she looks amazing to me. I think she just, just a great, awesome piece as you can see. Colors are amazing and I think they did a good job as far as getting the likeness and uh, the cool base as well. I should say that I absolutely love Zelda. I grew up with the original game, the 8-bit, and all the games uh, previous to that. Right now, I only have a quarter scale uh, custom statue from Link, um, and I had the Midna, which I actually sold from First for Figures, which I was a dummy, honestly. But I'm hoping to get her eventually again, um, and I'm looking forward to getting other pieces from this um, actual uh, studio that's going to be coming out with more Zelda um, quarter scale statues which I'm really looking forward to because um, personal figures has really not been able to do anything as far as Link or Zelda it might be issues with Nintendo it might be issues with licensing whatever it is it's just taking years and years and years and I'm happy to have found a group that is doing amazing work and this is gonna be a quarter scale Gerudo that's coming in to the Zelda line in 2022 very happy beautiful beautiful statue also obviously sold out only ab about a hundred pieces on this and it's gonna look amazing the next piece that's coming into the collection is this impressive really impressive silver surfer quarter scale statue custom what an awesome piece you can see the portal on this thing is really big and it has it's it's also at the bottom there really giving it a lot of height and supposedly it's very heavy and big this statue i'm looking forward to getting it. it should be here in a couple of months i love it i think it's going to be a great addition to uh, the collection even though i only have basically Thanos, Thanos that goes that could go along with him but hopefully down the line i'll be able to get other pieces there uh, but as you can see the likeness on silver surfer 
was really nicely done the body also the sculpture looks as if it's right online uh, from the comics and from the character itself so they did a great job also on paint the actual portal looks really cool with that all those gradients of blue or purple that kind of goes along with what it looks like in space so the work that has been done on this statue because it's very impressive it's very unique as well um, the way that it's set up and because there's so many options as far as um, this character and, and the statues that are out there as far as customs but it's unique and I think it has a lot of presence so it's gonna look really cool in the collection not many pieces from Marvel I have only Thanos and a few others so in the in the future I might have others that might go along with him but it's definitely gonna be a piece of its own and it's gonna be and I'm sure it's gonna look really really impressive and beautiful in the collection so that's coming soon in 2022 glad to have my First Silver Surfer quarter scale. The next piece is from Taka Corp and my first time buying a statue from them. This is gonna look amazing. I love statues from um, comics and from, uh, from cartoons and movies that are animated. And this obviously is from How to Train a Dragon. You're looking at Hiccup and Toothless uh, about to take off on a flight like, like the base how is he's really they're actually looking into something as if they're about to fight or jumping into into an actual uh, flight there look at the details on the back of this statue looks amazing i think the uh, paint application also was really nicely done you see some of the blues there and the shadows hopefully they'll deliver this to this level i'm very happy to have gotten into this uh statue because he sold out fairly quick and as you see, it's a quarter scale, which is gonna look really nice and a pretty big statue uh, compared to the others. Uh, there are other options as far as Toothless. I know there's two, well, the OG one from SciShow and there's a new one that they released, which I think it looks good, but this one has a lot more presence in my opinion, since they're about to basically take off on a flight and uh, you're looking at Hiccup there and all the details. It looks just, just like the movie. I believe this is the second movie and I'm mistaken. Um, and as you see, uh, it's it just really well done. The outfit, uh, in the body of Toothless also and the different, uh, different types of textures that he has in his face and throughout his body looks really cool. Happy to have this in the collection. It's gonna go really well with the, the different types of statues that I have like it from uh, cartoons and from animation. So it's gonna look amazing. Looking forward to this, it's been delayed. So hopefully it'll be here early in 2022. So that was a look at uh, the POs that are coming in 2022. What is it that you have that is coming to your collection? What are you looking forward the most? Uh, let me know in the comments. I know there's always uh, so many amazing pieces that come up pretty much every week. So it's hard to have everything. It's hard to actually collect everything. At times, you have to let go of pieces to be able to uh, bring in another one. So that's been happening to me. Let me know what you got on PO. And that is the video. Thank you for checking it out. Uh, keep on uh, collecting out there. Subscribe, share. I'll be having many more videos coming up. So thank you.